Prime Minister Modi, uh, who is, I don't need to tell anyone here, he is, he is the most popular world leader for a reason. He is unbelievable, visionary. Mr. Prime Minister, we welcome you to our country and wish you safe and a successful journey. Welcome you to the United States of America. This visit will serve as another way for India and the United States to strengthen our economic and cultural relationships. India and the United States have a shared appreciation for democracy. I hope that your visit is successful and I am confident that it will pave the way for an even stronger and closer partnership between India and the United States. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the entire Indian delegation, and we look forward to the opportunity to expand our already significant engagement with India in the weeks and years to come. I look forward to hearing from the Prime Minister during our joint meeting of Congress on his vision for India, for India's relationship with the United States, and our shared work together to advance peace, prosperity, democratic values, and stability in the Indo-Pacific. The United States-India relationship will be one of the defining partnerships of the 21st century. I take this opportunity to address a very important visit by Prime Minister Modi this week. Uh, I'm excited that this person is coming to America to extend our good will between our two nations in one of the most strategically important relationships we have in the world. Welcome to Washington, D.C., Prime Minister Modi. The Prime Minister's state visit is a significant moment in the U.S.-India relationship. From our trade and economic engagement, to our security cooperation, to our people-to-people -people ties, the India-U.S. relationship is critically important. I consider it to be one of the most important relationships that we have here in the United States. That's U.S.-India relations extremely important to our world, extremely important to both countries, and we are looking forward to hearing Prime Minister Modi address a joint session of Congress. As far as Prime Minister Modi goes, I admire his life story of working his way up as a, a waiter, uh, a chai waiter, as a young man, uh, to doing a career in public service. He's an inspiration to young people in India and America that if you work hard, and you add value to your community and you serve your community, you will go places in India and America. So uh, welcome Prime Minister Modi to America again. We have the pathway to India and India has a pathway uh, to the United States and we know how to discuss our issues and be part of reconciliation and leadership and continue to work together. Our partnership with India and United States illustrates the power of shared values and cooperation. This International Yoga Day fostered a deeper understanding between India and the United States. Nahanrandra Modi, the esteemed Prime Minister of the Republic of India, next week will be honored to have him address a joint meeting of Congress. We need a strong U.S.-India relationship, stronger than what it has been historically, because it's in the best interest of the two countries for us to collaborate on commerce on education and manufacturing and a whole lot of other issues. Uh, so I look forward to the Prime Minister's uh, visit and a stronger United States and India ties. Prime Minister Modi said in his 2016 visit to D.C., our relationship is primed for a momentous future. It is critical that we strengthen the Indo-American partnership as we work together. Prime Minister Modi, thank you for making this historic trip. My colleagues and I anxiously await your address to Congress. I'm really looking forward to Prime Minister Modi's uh, visit to Washington this week. And we hope that uh, Prime Minister Modi's visit uh, will just continue that upward trend uh, where, the, where India and the United States work together on so many issues, whether it's defense and security, it's our economy, or it's even our culture. India is this rising economic power. It's now the most populous country in the world. Um, geopolitically, the Indian Ocean region is incredibly important, as is the Indo-Pacific. So I think you know, this is a moment in time where India can take its rightful place. Prime Minister Maudi has earned the respect of both nations, of course, his and ours as well, for his leadership and steadfast work on this important binational relationship between the United States and India. I, along with my colleagues, are eager to hear Prime Minister Maudi's 
vision for this relationship and what the future holds for it. Prime Minister Modi, welcome to the United States of America. Ohio has a strong Indian American community of virtually everywhere in our state, business owners, entrepreneurs, educators, students, doctors, workers, advocates, leaders in the community. We look forward to looking to finding all kinds of ways to strengthen relations between our two countries. Enjoy your visit to the United States. I'm really excited and honored to welcome Prime Minister Modi as he prepares to address uh, the United States Congress. And there's so much that we can and must do together. This is a critical moment for democracy here in the United States and around the world. And India is a key partner in our effort to strengthen democracy here and around the globe. So welcome Prime Minister uh, Modi and I cannot wait to hear uh, your comments. Cultural, educational, professional programs play a key role in strengthening our partnership in science, technology, education, medicine, cybersecurity, civil nuclear energy, and so much more. This is a relationship to be celebrated as we welcome India's Prime Minister to Washington, D.C. next week.